Hello, I'm Julie Andrzejewski. One of the most interesting and challenging parts of my position as ABO's Artistic Director is coming up with themes for each concert season. Sometimes my quest is sparked by a particular piece, like Bach's Magnificat. At other times, I'm inspired by a special event, such as St. Cecilia's Day. But more often, I am intrigued by areas of interest that pique my curiosity. This week's top 10 program selection grew out of the latter category. I've long been curious about London's theatrical productions in the 18th century. For this show, I researched several playbills from the early 1700s that listed the events that occurred each night in London's various theaters. I found that on any given night, there might be a play or an opera or a concert to benefit a specific musician or cause. But in addition to these main stage events, there were others mixed in. French Baroque dances, acrobatic displays, instrumental concertos, and songs by popular performers, both local and foreign. I dream that ABO might one day have the means to mount such an extravaganza. In this program, I chose to share just one piece of the grand scheme with our audiences, the instrumental music. My favorite part of our show was the last set, for which I created a suite of incidental music from various plays performed during the 1715-16 season. This made our 2015 performance a 300-year anniversary celebration. Within this suite, I was especially moved by a play entitled The Mad Lover, with music by John Eccles, a well-respected composer and master of the King's music. The basic premise in the play is a common one. A lover, in this instance a general, is driven mad by unrequited love. The play's use of music, however, is unusual in that it is used as a treatment for the general's mental illness. In the following two selections, one might hear a tinge of madness within the otherwise staunch overture and heartache in the haunting, melancholy air that follows.